Energy Boutique with your energy forecast for Thursday, August 22nd. Okay, so the moon is in Aries energy. We have a little bit of a pep in our step. We are forward thinking. We have some ants in our pants. We're motivated. We're determined to get shit done. Now, it's a good mood, a good attitude to actually be in because we are about to shift into Virgo season that is essentially the taskmaster. We have the ability to kind of focus in on the areas of our lives where some improvements, some adjustments need to be made and we're able to do them if logical, practical advice and the checklist actually proves that that would be the best thing to do. It is a mutable season. So that means we need to be flexible. We need to adapt. We need to change. That being said, if you haven't listened to the astro forecast that I put out for Virgo season, I'm going to recommend you do so. If you haven't downloaded your Virgo season e-guide as of yet, I'm going to recommend that you do that. That is going to keep you aligned with the energies that are coming at us in Virgo season, which by the way, includes Uranus going retrograde and eclipse season. So we have a lot going on here today. It's going to be a little bit, I'm going to call it jittery at times. Again, Mercury, who rules over Virgo season, is taking the baton from the sun, if you will. The sun has been in his rulership in this Leo energy. He is leaving his rulership for Virgo energy. And the ruler, Mercury, is currently retrograde in Leo energy that the sun rules over. So there's a little bit of... I'm going to say a cha-cha-cha, a little bit of a dance we're doing here with some of our thoughts versus some of our actions. We need to get our heart and head in alignment pretty quickly in order to engage the physical body to take action, to make moves, of course, based off of some planning, some strategizing, which of course we will be doing a lot of, especially in this first part of Virgo season. So there are 13 different aspects taking place here today. Nine of them are going to involve the moon. The moon in Aries energy going to make a positive interaction with the sun at the final degrees of this Leo energy. That 29 critical karmic degree is intense. It's a doozy. We're wrapping up the life lessons that we were supposed to learn while through Leo season. If you want to go back, take a listen to that forecast just to see how your Leo season kind of lined up. Definitely recommend you take a listen. But anytime that we have the moon and the sun coming together in any kind of interaction, there's going to be an emotional awareness of what we want, what we need, what we desire, where we have to take action, where we have to make moves. Emotionally speaking, we are ready to kind of get going here. We are building in the courage, in the bravery, that Leo season definitely lends us in order to do all of the things as we move into Virgo season. The moon in Aries then going to make a positive interaction with Jupiter, the planet of growth, expansion, beliefs, abundance, and blessings, who of course is in Gemini energy. This is going to be some good vibes. We're optimistic. We're confident. We are seeing the opportunity to grow, to improve, to be better. We're kind of excited, semi-inspired, if you will, to kind of get the wheels a turning and just kind of building in this let's call it aggression, to want to make a change, to want to kind of get the pick up and go and actually start seeing some progress, seeing some results in what it is that we want to be doing. The sun in the final degrees of this Leo energy then going to make a positive interaction with Jupiter. So we have the sun, the moon, and Jupiter doing this beautiful little cha-cha-cha helping us to get in alignment emotionally with the actions that we want to take, with the ability to grow, to kind of lean into one path, one decision, one choice point over the other. Again, that Gemini energy that Jupiter is in definitely having us on the fence about things. But at this particular juncture, we're pretty excited. We're pretty inspired. We do have a new mood, a new attitude really propelling us to pluck out those silver linings, to get excited about what is to come. And we are definitely ready to make some big moves in a totally different path, totally different direction. The moon in Aries energy going to come up to bump into team up with the North Node in Aries energy. This is a conjunction. This is an ending just as much as it is a beginning. We are putting the past behind us. Again, we just finished out this moon in Pisces again that helped us close out Leo season. 
we are definitely putting a lot of the matters of the heart, a lot of the painful pieces of our past behind us at this particular juncture. So that is the ending. The beginning is now we're bossing up. Now we're starting to see where there are moves available to be made, where it is that there is a path, a direction, a goal that is kind of glimmering and shimmering more so than it has been in the past. And we're hyped up. We're emotionally ready to jump into a brand new project, brand new chapter. The moon is then going to make an awkward interaction with Mercury. So here we go. Mercury being the ruler of the mental plane, of course, is retrograde in the heart and soul of the Zodiac in this Leo energy. The moon is our heart space. Mercury is our head space. And although they're not on the same page, they're moving in the right direction. We have this initiating energy coming from the moon in Aries. We have this boldness, this bravery of putting ourselves out in the world, really speaking our truth and bringing some ideas to life. That's that mercurial energy. We're not on the same page. All the details aren't ironed out yet, but we're hyped up. We're excited. We're getting our spirits to a new level of inspiration, of motivation, and mostly of determination to actually see something new through. The moon is then going to make a positive interaction with Mars. Mars being the god of war, ruling over our physical energy, our drive, our passion, our desires, even our anger. Mars rules over the Aries energy that the moon is in. So this is going to be intense. We do have Mars in this Gemini energy again, planning, strategizing the moves that we will be making in order to execute the path, the goal to bring the vision, the dream to life. This is definitely going to wind us up again, really put a pep back in our step, really put us in a situation to get hyped up, excited and inspired for something new, just as the sun moves into Virgo energy. The sun is shining a very bright light now on this Virgo energy on where it is that we have to get organized, where it is that we have to bring some order to some of the emotional and physical chaos that we've been really witnessing over the last little bit of our lives. The sun is now orienting to a mutable sign, meaning we have to be open to change. We have to be flexible. Adjustments are needed. And as we've been learning, the awkward adjustment period is not fun. The moon is going to make a positive interaction with Pluto, the great transformer himself, who is retrograde in Aquarius energy. This is going to hype us up and intensify this warrior type of spirit, this mood, this attitude to want to take action, to want to make moves, to want to see some progress, to want to make a major change. This is also going to highlight for us what we're actually passionate about what we actually have a desire to do and to pursue. This is going to help us fine tune the fuel needed. And again, hopefully it's excitement and inspiration, but sometimes it's anger and agitation that gets us going, that puts us on the right path, puts us in a new direction. The moon is then going to semi-square, create a little bit of tension and conflict with Uranus, the great awakener, who is in Taurus energy. Unfortunately, this is going to bring an element of frustration, probably restlessness, a little bit of anxiety, because of course, the path isn't clear. We don't have all the details. We have the pick me up. We have the want, need and desire to create, to jump into something new, to bring something new to life. But we're really not being supported in those particular opportunities, which means that we don't see the clear path forward. We don't understand how can we have all of this energy built up, be hyped up to jump into something new and still not know what that new thing is. And so, of course, we kind of have to sit with it. We have to figure out where it is that, of course, we're pushing things. We're trying to hurry up the time, if you will. And it's going to be an interesting dynamic because the sun fresh in this Virgo energy is going to make the very toughest, most harsh interaction with Pluto. Pluto, again, being the great transformer, he's retrograde in this Aquarius energy. We do enjoy Virgo energy interacting with Plutonian energy because Pluto does a deep dive in our psyche, while Virgo really kind of rules over the lower level of our intellect. And granted, Mercury is currently retrograde, so we are having to factor in matters of the heart. However, what we get here, even though it's a very tough interaction, even though it's a very intense interaction, it's going to highlight for us where it is that we're having 
problems, feeling the tension, feeling the conflict with the growing pains that we know that we need to go through in order to make the adjustments in our physical realm that we know that we now need to make. Because again, you know, shit hit the fan there. Uh, we had a major pivot point, major change of heart, major epiphanies, major downloads. We know what it is that we have to kind of bring to an end. We have to boss up. That's what this Plutonian energy is trying to get us to do. Empower us to take our power and control back, especially over our mind, over the areas of our lives that have gotten crazy and chaotic and a little bit out of control, over the path in which we now want to be walking. So yes, it is going to kind of highlight frustration, but use that frustration to guide you on what it is that needs to end. So let's just say that you're kind of frustrated that there isn't a move to be made right now. Okay, so what if there was a move to be made right now, what would what move would you be making? Because that's the thing. We're just waiting for the answers. We're not realizing that we actually have to ask ourselves the deep seated questions in order to actually trigger an activation within us in order to bring forth the answer that our soul is going to basically trigger and activate for us to do for us to pursue. So we have to be asking ourselves all of these questions. And the question right now is, what are you angry about? What are you frustrated about? Where are you waiting for this beautiful aha moment to kind of you know, inspire you to make a move. And if you had the choice, the power to make certain moves right now, what would those moves actually be? And how would you make them? This is how we figure out where we need to make some adjustments in our perspective, in our physical realm, in our mental plane and in our heart space. Does it feel good? No, nope, not supposed to. It's going to bring up a lot of crappy feelings. A lot of not so nice thoughts. We're going to be very hard on ourselves here in Virgo season. We have to figure out what needs to stay, what needs to go. And unfortunately for humans, we have to feel super uncomfortable, like our back is against a wall in most particular situations before we're willing to make a major change. Okay, so we sit in that for like four, four and a half hours, which like I said, it's going to be a doozy, but it's definitely going to be revealing. Again, reminder, Virgo energy, fixer, healer, resolver of the Zodiac, but we have to figure out what the issue is in order to actually fix it. We're diving right into it. Virgo season, we're not wasting any time. We don't waste time in Virgo energy. So the moon in Aries energy is then going to make an awkward interaction with the sun fresh in this Virgo energy. And if we're not careful, we will burn ourselves out or burn the world around us down. That's just what happens when you mix a fire element with an earth element, especially without the clarity that we wish we had at this particular juncture. Now, again, the moon and the sun coming together, there's going to be an aha moment. There's going to be an emotional awareness, but it's going to come out of feeling uncomfortable, feeling awkward, feeling unsettled. Emotionally speaking, we want to jump into things. But the sun now in Virgo energy needs to have a well thought out strategized plan before any moves will be made. So again, we're just creating smoke and smoke creates more fog and fog is definitely going to add to the confusion that we're creating within ourselves. We get a little bit of help when the moon in Aries energy is going to make a positive interaction with Saturn, the Lord of Karma, who is currently retrograde in Pisces energy. I like this because it gets us focused on what we have to build, what we have to create, what we have to destroy, what we have to eliminate in order to create the space to build the things that, of course, we're now excited to build, to create, to bring to life. This is going to not give us a harsh reality check, but definitely fine tune our aggression, our determination, if you will, to see this adjustment period through because Many of us do get discouraged when we go ahead, we try to make changes, and of course, they don't fall into place right away. So this is just a reassurance, if you will, that we have the fire, the spark, the flame already lit, already cultivated within us in order to burn through the obstacles, especially mentally and emotionally speaking, that we are going to face when we try to make these particular adjustments.
The last thing that we have going on here today, Venus, the goddess of love, beauty, worth, pleasure, and money. She's in this Virgo energy already. She's getting into the boxing ring and squaring off with Mars. So Mars being the god of war, the masculine divine energy. Uh, Venus and Mars, the feminine and masculine duo. Anytime that they are coming together, there's a little bit of a creative spark, a little bit of sexual tension, a little bit of a competitive nature. We are really struggling to identify what it is that we're actually passionate about, what we actually want to do, what we actually want to pursue. It seems so flip floppy. Again, Mars being in this Gemini energy, very divided on where we want to pour our time, energy and attention, the choices, the path, the directions that we want to take. We have Venus in this Virgo energy again, kind of removing a little bit of the emotion from the equation of taking a good look at our lives, figuring out who and what needs to stay, needs to go. Again, the Virgo energy focused on the problems, where it is that we don't feel safe, where we don't feel secure, where we don't feel good about continuing to pour into old aspects, old relationship dynamics, old commitments when this new version of the self has new, no emotional ties to those particular aspects of the old world. And so emotionally speaking, our values are changing, our priorities are changing, our passions are changing, our wants, needs, and desires are changing. And of course, the square is illuminating where it is that this change, this tension, this conflict is really illuminating the growing pains that we are all going through, trying to make these major changes in our headspace, in our heart space, and then in our physical realm.